all of you. Welcome you all to this uh, press meet. Uh, without you, it's very difficult to convey what HCG is to people of Goa. Why we are coming here is very important. And through you, probably we can achieve that. Your patient from Goa can benefit from this expertise from HCG through you. So you play a major role. I thank you for coming here and uh, taking all these things to your people. So I am Dr. Raghunath, uh, Director and the Head of Urological Oncology and Robotic Surgery Program. Uh, Manisha Madam told about HCG. I would like to talk more about surgery and robotic surgery in particular. We are not just another cancer hospital with all, you know, surgical oncology, medical oncology, and radiation oncology. In surgical oncology only, we have different verticals. I do only neurological oncology. I will come to urological oncology in the end. We have head and neck oncology. Head and neck oncology means they deal only with head and neck cancers. We have hepatobiliary oncology. We have GI oncology. We have orthopedic oncology, gynae oncology, like the different surgical verticals of them. And the beauty of this is every surgeon is trained with robotic surgery. And our robotic surgery is one of the you know highest numbers we are doing, at least in southern part of India. Why I'll tell you. And before that, ours is the only center to acquire the second robotic system in South India because of our volume. That speaks about our volume. And every separate vertical in surgical oncology are do doing and utilizing this robotic surgery. That robotic surgery, how it is going to transform the healthcare or patient outcome. Like we used to do open surgeries, but now open surgery, you know, you all know, big cut will be there, big incision will be there, more blood loss, and patient will stay for seven, eight days, 10 days. Now, even supra major surgeries, we are discharging on one day or second day after surgery. The blood loss is significantly less. They recover fast. If you do surgery, robotic surgery today, they walk tomorrow, and day after tomorrow, they can go home. And from last two years or three years, we have not transfused any blood to any of our surgeries where they have undergone robotic surgery. This is the beauty of robotic surgery. The surgery has transformed uh, significantly with the advent of this robotic technology and robotic surgery. To do robotic surgery, we, you need specialists. Not everybody, every surgeon cannot do this. And when it comes to our department, we deal with only five cancers. Urological oncology means we deal only with five cancers. In that, we are further subspecializing in our department where one doctor will take, take care of only prostate cancers, another doctor will take care of only kidney cancers, the another one will take care of only bladder cancers. This is required because every day new, new technologies will be coming, new treatment options are coming. If you don't further specialize in that, it's very difficult to give best outcomes. So we are obsessed about giving best outcomes at HCC Cancer Center. That's why we are deep diving into all these things. We are acquiring new technologies and we are training people. When it comes to training, it is not just HCG is a big cancer hospital where good surgeons are there. It is important to give training. Ours is the first hospital in Asia to get recognized by Royal College of Surgeons for this training program. Okay. And ours is the first center to be recognized by Institute Surgicals from USA where they produce robotic equipments, but training is lacking. So ours is the first center. This speaks about our department and our hospital, not just into patient care, into training the next generation of people. So that's what we are practicing. And I request all of you to pass on this message, why we are coming to Goa, and in what way, if we collaborate with Goan government, in what way we can transform or better the outcomes of your patients. So I would like to talk about these things. Because of paucity of time, probably after my colleague uh, speak, probably we can discuss one to one. Uh, and I request all of you to communicate all these things to the people of Goa. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raman sir. I think you discussed about our hospital very elaborately and very, very, very nicely. Thank you, madam, for uh, giving us this opportunity. And I would like to thank all the media colleagues here who are the sort of, uh, what can I say? You are the people who can transform the society. You have the power. 
there are only very few people who have the power to transform the society. One is uh, teachers, second is media, because you are the only two messengers who can give right thing or wrong thing to the people. So thank you for coming here and then thanks for uh, your time. So I am basically a hematologist, hemato-oncologist and transplant physician. That is basically I treat blood cancers and then other blood related diseases. And also I do bone marrow transplant, for stem cell transplant. And now we are also doing cell and gene therapy, that is CAR T cell therapy. So our aim as an hospital is to ensure that everybody gets a care that is required, number one, and everybody gets the care, the best care that is required, not just the care. See, it's very easy to get treatment. Now it's not difficult. Anybody can go to any hospital and get the treatment. Whether that treatment is the best. We don't want to do our best. We want to do the best that is laid out in the world. Means we, we have to be excelling far than the best that can be done in West. So there is nothing we, we lack what the West has got. So I think it's only the delivery of the, uh, of the best that, that has been lacking, I think that is where we excel at. So our department to tell you, we are the one of the first centers in South India to start the bone marrow transplant. We have done uh, nearly about 800 plus bone marrow transplant in our department. And then we do transplants for across all the age, very small age to the very old age because we have mechanisms to sort of reduce the side effects of chemotherapies and then we, we involve more and more of targeted therapies and then we nowadays do a lot of drug levels, everything to ensure that one, uh, ensure that every patient gets the right dose of treatment and right way of treatment. For example, I tell you, maybe there are two people that are of the same weight, same height here, may not carry the same weight if, they, if it is put 